Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In the last video I said I had something cool to show you, and this here is the video for me to show you in. Without any further delays, I'd like to welcome you to my new shop. That is right, I have officially moved out of the first garage, and this is the new workspace. This is genuinely a huge upgrade in a lot of different ways, uh, mainly size, but also I now have two floors. I have the main floor here for the cars and I have all the upstairs for parts and whatever. I won't show you much of what's up there in this video because I'm still just kind of getting settled in here. So that space up there, quite the mess. Let me show you around. I mean, it is a garage, so showing you around is gonna take all of about 30 seconds. So we got the big overhead door here. Uh, this is kind of interesting because it's a roll-up door and it's not a, a big standard door that goes up to the ceiling. So if I push the button to open it, and now it goes up and the door just rolls up like that. It's kind of an interesting design. I'm guessing it's to save space so you don't have to have a big uh, door that goes all the way over here. And also unlike the other place, this has a man door. So that's right, I can just open the door and then uh, boom, parked car right here. And that way, if I don't have to move any of the cars, then I don't have to open this door to get in. I just got this door for myself. But the main upgrade here over the first place is we have space for not one, not two, not three, but four cars. That's right. And the interesting thing about this space, which you can already see up there. Oh yeah, we have even more lighting here. So I've been thinking about how I want to have this place all set up and Realistically, I don't really need four cars in here. So what I've been thinking, this section here where the two Corollas are parked is the perfect space to do work. We have the overhead lights here. We also have a spotlight here, which I don't know if I'm really gonna need this, but it's there. And I'm thinking this can really be the main working area. And then we can just have two cars kind of parked back there. Now, alternatively, another thing I could do, which I have been thinking about a little bit, not totally sure yet, having two cars just parked back here and then using this large space out here as the main working area. I'm not entirely sure which uh, section of the shop here I want to use as my main working space. I guess I'll experiment a little bit and see what I prefer. Maybe I'll work out here, maybe I'll work in there. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen steps to get upstairs. But check out the cool view though. I can see my cars from a top down perspective. How cool is this? Also, don't mind the cedar wood. I'm dealing with a few moths kind of flying around here. I think I just saw one flying around these lights earlier, uh, but for the most part, the moths are gone. I've been using this and some other chemical stuff. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you too much of the upstairs area because uh, it's, it's quite the mess. I'll show you later. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why I landed on my feet so badly there, that was kind of embarrassing. Now another thing I didn't show you, uh, well actually two things now that it's on my mind. One, I have windows technically, you can't see out of them, but you can see if it's daylight or not. But the other thing is this, and check that out. We have a ceiling fan up here. It's gonna start spinning any second now, it takes a little bit. Trust me, it, 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 will, it will start spinning. It takes a second. I turned it on, right? Yeah, I did. It's slowly starting to turn. So this moves air pretty nicely. It's not air conditioning, but uh, it's something. I'm not actually gonna keep it on, so there you go, we're just gonna switch it off. With everything great about this unit does come a couple of small issues. And my main thing is it's leaking some water. Actually, you can see it there. I mean, it's not leaking water right now, but you can see the spots. You can see that kind of falling off. It's not even leaking that much water. You might think that it's gushing water out of that. In a heavy rainstorm, it drops one drop every second or two, which is kind of a big leak, but it's not gushing water in here. So we've got water here. Let's see if it works. I haven't tried it yet. It does work. Okay. And outlets, more outlets, more outlets, more outlets, more outlets, more outlets, and 
more outlets. That doesn't even include up there where we have even more outlets. So the point is I have plenty of outlets. I don't have to worry about uh, running out of outlets anywhere here actually. And even better, 220 outlet. So that is a bit of a look around my new garage setup. I think it's a great place. It has a couple flaws that the other place didn't have, but overall the upsides, the space, the upstairs, all the outlets, all the lighting. Can't wait to get started working on stuff and fixing stuff and breaking stuff in here. It's gonna be fun. Now that I've upgraded the space though, I should probably upgrade my tools. It might be time to retire the jack stands and jack and move to uh, not, not a two post lift, that's quite expensive, but to a, a portable lift like a quick jack or something. It'll make working on stuff a lot easier. So there you have it. Wasn't that cool? I bet it was. That about wraps up the tour. Like I said, I'll show you the upstairs after that's been sorted out. I don't want to show you the big mess of things that I've thrown up there at the minute. Thank you all very much for joining me uh, of this little tour around the new workspace. And I think it's about time I get started working on stuff in here. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everyone, this is Automotion year number two. Today is Saturday, May something, 20th. It's about midday, we've already gone downtown and seen some things. Eli, say hi to YouTube. You mutter truckers, it's your favorite okay. What's up bro, I guess up. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That stays in. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's already 2 p.m. and we've already been out, so. Yeah, to downtown. Right. It down, down, out as in, we could have walked faster than we drove. Yeah. Um, Traffic, not good. Oh, what's going exception. on? Oh, what's going on? Jeez, what is happening here? This is like Auto Motion 2023. Three. Yeah, this is our second year. Second Three. year together, hell yeah. yeah. What, a whole, oh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. Where's my, where's my, uh, where's my ring? Where's well, your engagement ring. ring. <laughs> yeah, you want me, you want me, you want me to give you an engagement ring. Yeah. Oh, you guys, I've never seen this car before. Oh yeah, I, I swear every time you post me up on your YouTube. Yeah, I well, last automotion you had the Subaru. This time you've got this. Yeah, and rod, no rods went went to heaven. Yeah. I had fun though, so that's all that matters. Yeah. Well, my Subaru still works. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. Someone had the audacity to say that those those um, the hoses were pool movers on TikTok. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting sick and tired of all the TikTok. Hey, look at the everyone in the comments comment pool pool, <laughs> pool noodle. Fuck that, dude. I can't even say it properly. Yeah, dude. Too busy scarfing down whatever the fuck that is. It's a pancake. You made these. Hey, are they good at least? Yeah. I put my love in them. No, I'm just <laughs> you you <laughs> in these? No, no. What the. Nope, so yeah, it's pretty stock. Got the um, intake system and a uh, charge pipe and blow off valve. Before you call me out on it, everybody, go subscribe right now to Eli Friedman on YouTube. Click right up there, go, go to his channel, click the subscribe button, go to his video that he's uploading, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> You! <laughs> that's not how it works! No! <laughs> One last look at the N54 and then uh, we'll see what engine, uh, we'll see what car he brings in the next video that you're Hopefully in. Hopefully this one. Dude, I'm trying, I love this car. It's kind of a clap That's box, what you but... said about the Subaru. That's what you said about the Eclipse. All right, all right, all right. Well, you know what, I've said this multiple times. <laughs> You've said that about every car. <laughs> Tell you what, for content, I will rear-end your car. I'm good, I'll pass on Are you that. sure? I think you'll get a lot of views. You know what? <laughs> okay, well don't put that in the video. No, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> editor, editor, editor. Editor, cut it out. Finally made it. Uh huh. She was a walk. Yeah, probably walked what two miles or something. Yeah. It must have been way easier to work on cars like that. 
Oh yeah. Oh, this paint is so nice though. This 86. This was driving around yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. We got to see the classic car show. What'd you think? I got to see Cool Hand Customs, so I'm happy. And there's some really cool cars in there. We get to walk back now, what, two miles or so? Miles. Yeah, we don't have to walk all at once. I'll probably stop somewhere and just look at all the cars go by. It's like we're old people, guys. We're just like watching birds, you know? Yeah. This is this is the new generation of bird watching, <laughs> car watching. Back to the cars. Oh, yeah. That one's not ours. <laughs> These two are. <laughs> 